up with my dad and he would always dip and me and my older brother would always watch him and he'd always say like, don't do this, it's not worth it, it's hard to stop. He always said like, do what I say, not what I do. And like we always said, me and my older brother always said we would never dip. Uh, fast forward like four years, I'm sitting in the car with my older brother and we're driving home. It's like really late at night. And he turns to me and he says, shake my hand and tell me you'll never dip. And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. So I just shake his hand, it's like, whatever. And then he drops a glove container and pulls out a dip and puts it in. He's like, I can't help it. And it just hit me then like, this is big. Like, this is my brother. These are people I love and they're having to struggle with this. And it's hard to stop. And it's not something like, seeing people struggle, it's hard, but seeing people inflict a struggle on themselves, even though they don't want it, it makes it that much harder. And I, I just, I don't want to see other people have to see their family go through that hard, that, that problem. It's just tough. Um, now, now that I'm getting involved with it, um, my, my school has started a group called Vika, Vikings Kicking Out Tobacco, like four months ago. And we're just hammering it down in our school, in our community, and currently, we discussed trying to get rid of um, electric cigarettes and vapor pens because they have nicotine in them and people need to know that. Because I grew up not thinking, I thought they were fine, but <laughs> it's the tobacco companies lying to us again. And we have to be able to enforce that and keep people from getting addicted because once you start, it's hard to stop.